this year, um, I am changing from just teaching language to also teaching reading. So I'll be a reading and language teacher. So I am um, trying a new theme this year, and my theme will be a sea of knowledge. So I have pulled in all sorts of fish and things of that sort to um, make my wall full of reading and language skills that is pleasing to the eye when they look at it. I think that when you come into a room that is bright and cheerful, I think that it creates a huge difference in their learning environment. I think that they they love bright colors and I think they love to look at the fun things on the wall and I think it engages you know them in their learning. I'm getting my room ready means I've got to get name the children's names on the door so they'll know that they belong in this room. I have to get all of their supplies ready. I have to um, make sure that there's a chair for every child and I want my room to be um, very inviting so they'll want to come to school. So I can't wait for the kids to be here because that's why I'm here. It's for the kids. Although we've had all these meetings that's going to help the kids, the most important thing is the children in my classroom and how I can help them to learn. I have been organizing all of my shelves. I've also been putting up my focus wall and my calendar, everything to get ready for the first year. Last year I did kindergarten interventions, so I got to work with all the little kindergartners. And this year they've been the first grade, so that makes them even more special. Uh, it's special uh, because uh, I'm teaching a lot of uh, kids uh, who I also taught their parents when they were in school. And so it's special from that standpoint. It's also special this year because we're going to Common Core and so uh, we're going to be excited about teaching a curriculum a, a little different way than we've taught it before. And uh, so uh, we excited coming off of last year which uh, put a little momentum into the school system in Tupelo School. And uh, so I'm just excited to see for a second year if we could keep that momentum going. We had a great summer. We had a lot of great things going on across the district with building projects. Very excited with those coming, those projects coming to completion. Uh, very excited with uh, also with some professional development opportunities we had with curriculum writing, uh, pacing guides. We had our teachers come in and help with that process, which is so so critical for us as we move forward with Common Core, uh, along with our curriculum team. Uh, we have a very solid security and safety plan throughout the district. Last year we made some. Uh, changes to our security measures in our pre-K through 8 buildings. Uh, in those buildings you have to get buzzed in to get in, to gain entry into the building. We've expanded that this uh, summer with our high school. It's a very unique campus with many buildings and with that we had to uh, really research and make sure we had the best product for that particular building and we're very excited that that has been implemented and they will be starting with that at the beginning of this school year. So we feel like we have safe schools, uh, we have fencing around all the playgrounds, uh, throughout the district as well and, and we have security officers, SROs, so we feel very very secure with our system that we have in place and of course we're going to continue to monitor that and evaluate that as the year goes on. Also very excited about our test scores that came in. Of course we'll be releasing that as this data becomes uh, right now it's embargoed as, as that data becomes available to the public in September. I think people across the community and across the school district would be very pleased with the gains that we have made and we're very excited about that and want to share that with our great community. It feels really good to be in my room. Um, I've kind of come up here during the summer a little bit to get some odd and end things out of the way but just being here like during the daytime and when you have your team teachers here with you you can get a lot of stuff accomplished and so um, I've gotten pretty much my first um, week back mapped out so the hard part's out of the way and I can just really focus on the fun part which is decorating and I love to decorate my classroom. Um, my husband says I go overboard but I don't think I do. This is my home away from home and it is their home away from home too so just coming into a bright classroom um, with lots of books and fun colors and materials it just really excites them about learning and they love school. As a former teacher and administrator um, the beginning of the school year is a very special time for me. It's a special time for my family, for my children who are also elementary students in the Tupelo Public School District. Um, but it's a time for hope and I hope the best for all of our children. I hope that our children 
learn as much as possible. I hope they grow. Um, I hope they grow emotionally as well as physically. I hope that our teachers embrace uh, the new curriculum or the new standards that we have in place and grow professionally. And I hope they enjoy what they do. I hope it's a fun time for our kids, but also a time to learn and spend time with each other because they are the future of Tupelo. And what we do this year will impact this city for years to come.